temperatures are starting to drop and the leaves are starting to change color and fall to the forest floor. Things are getting excited in the deer woods as the whitetail ruts really starting to pick up. So that can mean one thing. It's time to load up the camper and head northbound as we'll be crossing the Mighty Mac heading on over to God's country. That's right, we're going to Deer Camp, Michigan's beautiful Upper Peninsula, and we're heading back to our old stomping grounds with high hopes of collecting some bone and getting some fresh venison backstraps for the freezer. So we're uh, just about to grailing. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. How are you doing? Oh, uh, we're over getting wood right now. It's raining like a bitch. Oh, blue skies and sunny here. Plant a tree up on the hill And days go by on your windowsill And you're standing in its shade Raise your children tall and proud Chase away the lightning clouds until you finally get old and gray. Yeah, I saw that the fling and hit your truck. Shake up this world. We all see all things. Seven or something. Could have done better work on the uh, cabinets a little bit. Right. Well, put more effort towards it, but that's all right. Things are pretty good. But yeah, I got this. Uh, cassette. Oh, yeah. Cassette. Oh yeah. Huh? Yeah. I swapped out the I swapped out the eight track. Right? Yeah. Put in the cassette because that's the new thing. Well, it's going back to it. Yeah, I and this is like a. I uh, think a record player. I don't I know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> you do it. Hey! Oh, 
Ooh, you're you're lying. Ass. Quit acting like you're trying. <laughs> I am trying. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm fucking old. <laughs> Get her, Tanner. Oh, yeah, are you really that. trying? Yeah. You're near lying. I'm not lying. I'm not that strong. <laughs> I can barely bench 140. Tuck <laughs> your shoulder and go. go. Throw your wrist. Tuck your shoulder and go. Throw your wrist. Throw your wrist. Throw your wrist. You can't get your arm off the table. <laughs> Throw your wrist. Throw your wrist. <laughs> Let's go take you. He's going to take you. I don't. Curl it. Curl it. Oh, you don't. Curl it. You don't. Oh! 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 Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Mama. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Soup, He's been sitting there for an hour and, and he's still full. He still has like three pieces of chicken left. I don't understand what is it that big? Hard to eat or? Get it. Watch out, bud. There's one right here. 
the plastic. Brian Buzz's brother. So I, I ate it twice on that jump. Yeah. 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 So what happened to you? Anything bad? I lost, I had three other ones on that day. Well, as long as in a second. Oh, I don't, I better not right. by that. I don't need all there. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, really yeah. Yeah. about a phone note, where she? Yeah. 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 start to be able to do something. Should be some hard out. Holy Jesus, <laughs> 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 Look, I That's dropped, I I dropped them in the park a lot, kicked them under his truck. Just like that. Man, the smoke. I go over there, it comes over here. They're so beautiful, Zach. I guess. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, it's out there if anybody wants it. In front of the camper. Oh, that's good. Yeah, he was. I appreciate it. Yeah, he was loyal to you. Like, well, he wouldn't even fucking know they're gone until he's back at home. <laughs> so you didn't use how many hours say you were. I taught Jerry something today. Did you say? So I taught Jerry something today. Did you Got a solo cup. Yep. All the little rims. Yep. Different measurements. Oh, you didn't know? Never knew that. Ooh. Slower. Oh. Let me throw it back on? Nope. They're kind of frozen still. Cool.
days like this. <coughs> and I wonder why. Do I need one? Good night, boys. Stop. Shoot. Stop. Shoot. Do I need one? Alright, good luck guys. How you get to your spot with no car here? Side by side. Hmm? Side by side. Driving that clear down there? Yeah. Alright man. Matt's got his truck going if you want to warm yours up. It is, isn't it? Oh, yeah it is. <laughs> I was gonna say it's not coming out there. <laughs> Alright, good luck. Alright man, take care. Well, it is opening day here in the UP of Michigan. As you can see, the Orange Army's up. We're ready to go. We're excited. It is uh, 27 degrees right now, and there's literally no wind. It is pretty calm, so should be able to hear them from quite a ways away coming in. That'll be nice. Hopefully, the boys will have some have some bone hanging on the pole when we get back tonight. We are in the stand right now. We're hunting a saddle and we're in a really a pine bowl and there's actually a point up there. These deer run right through it. They go through this thick stuff too and they'll pop out. I didn't have my camera out long but there's a couple nice bucks on it so we'll see what happens. It's been quiet so far but it doesn't mean things can pick up at any minute. We did hear a deer earlier in the morning but never came by so we're just gonna sit tight and see what happens Just had a doe and what looked to be a spike come through. Fortunately, I gotta move the stand because the sun is beating right on me. I couldn't even get the scope on him to see. I am just judging on of what I could see on the camera. And uh, speaking of the camera, it's a little cockeyed because I forgot the, um, the bolt at home to uh, undo it. And it's just cockeyed, it's slanted, I can't do anything about it. Maybe later tonight I'll be able to find something in town that'll help me move it, but for now we're in a stuck we're in we're in a tough situation. <laughs> but hey, saw a couple deer early on. Sounds like the guys are seeing a couple. Mitch saw a coyote. Bob had one behind him. Jake had a couple does in front of him, so they're at least moving. It is 11.10 a.m. on opening day, November 15th here in Michigan, and it's been a struggle so far. <laughs> a real struggle to say the least. So I got in my saddle, and I sat up, and the sun was coming on me, and I had two deer come out in front of me. I couldn't tell what they were really, because I, I couldn't get my rifle on them. The sun was just obstructing my scope. So... <laughs> I gave it another half hour hoping that things would change and it didn't. So I got down, got to another tree, got up there, sat up there for a bit. And of course the sun just starts beating on me there. Same thing. 
now we are in a tree there's trees blocking it so we should be set now hopefully we didn't scare too much you know make too much noise and scare anything off but I'm not expecting to see anything till this evening it's been fairly quiet gunshot wise but um, the guys are at least seeing deer a couple uh, small bucks button bucks does and then uh, the one guys they heard a wolf right behind them so that's pretty cool but, uh, hopefully you know they'll start moving here around noon guys will get up and start pushing them we can get a shot at one Uh, 11.44, we just saw our third deer the morning, and uh, she stuck around for a little bit. I was actually really surprised to see her because, like I said, this is my third, third tree that I've uh, set up in, and the sun just, every time I pull my gun up, I can't see out of it. You know, the glare from the sun's just killing me, and uh, we made a little bit of noise, but half hour passed, and she came in, no problem, but uh, she did blow at me, so... She keeps that nonsense up again, and I might have to teach her a lesson. But uh, it's good to know that they're moving 10 to 2, baby. These sits are awesome, even though we're going to be sitting all day. My eyes will definitely be peeled now, because I know that there's deer still in the area. I didn't spook them all the way to the lower peninsula. <laughs> so, a couple guys went in for lunch. I'm going to stick it out. Just had two deer. I don't know what they were. They're booking it. I don't know if they're chasing or what. But they came over that ridge. I just caught glimpses of them real quick. Maybe they'll circle back around. Who knows? But uh, that's three deer in the last hour. It's 12:05. So the army's pushing them around right now. Just had a uh, five point or six point come in. I don't know exactly what it was, but I couldn't get him on camera, so I wasn't gonna shoot him. But it's so thick right behind me. It's, it's just, it's hard to get him on camera and get him on focus. They're just cruising, going back and forth, but his nose was to the ground, so maybe he's picking up on something.
You went, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. Proud of you. You got one too? Yeah. Got him, boy. <laughs> Good job. David, what'd you say? Saw a spike. Kept running on and off, the, running everything off the pile. <laughs> then I pissed him off at lunch. I went and made a mox crepe. And pissed oh, yeah. him right off. <laughs> he went down there and was burying his head in there and pissed off digging at the tree. He's got little things like this. That tree is just going like this. It was, kind of, it was fun to watch. Dad, is this your beer? Nope. Here you go, Maddie. See me, what the fuck? Give me, uh, can I do my left arm? I don't want to do my right See what I mean, do my arm now. My arm. Here, come on. Because usually you can stand up, you know? Yeah. 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 That same level you hit earlier? Yeah. yeah. Nice job, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> that one, Bob? No, that's with Matt. Bob's got his yeah. in front of his squad there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We're going down about that, but we're going to look pretty good. We're going to get him. Oh, geez. Right by my spine? Oh, they're, they're hanging tarsal glands by me. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, yeah. On the other side, we can use that piece to hang it. <laughs> <coughs> November 16th and it's 11 a.m. and I have barely heard any gunshots so going off the group text the guys aren't seeing much either so I think we're gonna head back now get a grilled cheese maybe a Mountain Dew take a quick siesta and get back out here by 
1.30 and uh, hopefully they'll be moving a little better then. Well, it is 1.47 p.m. on November 16th here in the 906. That's right, we're up in Michigan's Upper Peninsula and we're back in the ground blind. Hunting the same spot that we did this morning. We didn't see anything um, this morning, but I still think we're in the right area because there's a ridge here that these deer run back and forth. This is a really, really cool area. There's a lot of tall pines in here and uh you know to make things better today like i think it was in 2009 i killed my biggest buck ever up here and uh you know i i have shot a lot of nice deer but that one will always ring a bell and i always think about that on the evening set so hopefully we can get a reenactment if not we'll be happy seeing some other action he had a six point out there today God, like resting on the window, he's got his little shooting rest thing. Right. I'm sitting there. And I went to slide the gun up. It was kind of high, so I went to slide it up. I slid on the tent. Like, right. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like he heard it. I like, took a step forward and looked. So by the time Renee had the cross here, right. and just oh, went ahead. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's almost good you made the noise. Yeah. I mean, How long a shot was it? Yeah, what is your debate file? Not very far. Not very far. 40, 50 yards. 50 yards. Oh, perfect. Next time you see a How far buck like that, just take zipper of your coat then and go like that and then walk up the hill. <laughs> it did work out about perfect. You can go very far. Oh, draft him right there. If I'm down to lead or not, we'll do it again. Yeah, we'll do it again. If it's that close. <laughs> this one's full 12, but it's close. It's very close. Can you knock it in? Oops. Inside. Here's the Dollar Cloud, wasn't it? Huh? Dollar Cloud, wasn't it? I think it might be right exactly 12. I can't branch in on shit. And the deer shot this after this evening so we got a good blood trail going right through here in a thicket and that's really where i stopped um i'm not really familiar with the area my phone was at four percent so 
Figured I'd call for backup, so we're gonna go in now. Got good blood right here. We're going. Well, we heard. I got the branch. There she is. Got her. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Got her here. Nice one, Oh, yeah, nice though. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Oh, I think that's, that's uh, a big one. 24 years, 25 years, somewhere around there for the streak. So, real thankful for this doe. She'll feed my family, friends, myself. I had a good shot on her. She didn't go far. She only went mm -hmm. what? 50 yards. 50 yep. yards, if that, yeah. So, we're going to get her tag gutted and get her out of here. <laughs> All right. The one that's probably uh, close to Justin's. Oh, I think it's bigger. Justin's big. That one's no. much better. She's that, sloppy. Uh, you're done, know. Dad. That's one's that bigger, Dad. Well, it's no, not. I don't know. I have Justin's. Hey, that's a DNR 400. Those age are so right. different. I've Look at his teeth. Those are 7 8. Oh. Age's teeth, Matt. Open her up. You got to cut her. You got to cut her. 11 and a half years old. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice <laughs> dome. Can we, can we hook it to the side by side and just pull it up? You guys better pull from over here because you're going to slide it right down that branch. Oh, Is that right? Yeah, okay. You have some? Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah. Do one more. Oh, geez, you just broke his antlers off. <laughs> Okay, now we'll wrap it around this way. You want me to cut off behind Mike? Well, let's get it wrapped over and we'll get tied to it and cut it after. Give it a little more. Cut it after it's tied. I know, but it's so hard to get it around the tree and stuff. Like we did yesterday. Or you can smell him now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You dripped that fluid on my feet. Like a finger on my beard. That's great cover, son. Oh, yeah. Whoa, they keep thinking you put some weight on it. Here, Darryl, Jack, Darryl, 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 Put some in her sandwich bag and take it with you. You got here. five pounds of uh, rice. Well, everyone, we are back in the swamp on the ridge, baby. This spot right here is my favorite spot in the whole entire world. I have had so many, so many great memories out of this spot. I have shot a lot, a lot of big bucks out of here, and I've had even more on trail camera. The swamp, it's not for the weak. 
It's where legends live. It's where beasts grow. This place here is not for the faint hearted. It is incredible back here. We are on an island and these deer come to this island. They transition on over into the public and into the private. This spot holds big, big deer for Michigan. Now, I have not hunted here in probably five, six years, okay? We moved state lands for three years. And then on top of that, the ridge, the swamp, it went to sleep. And today, it's woken up. We had a massive 10 pointer come on in through here on the public land. And I am back in here. I've let this spot marinate. I've had the burners on and the flame is growing now because the ridge and the swamp are alive, baby. That 10 pointer was here just a couple hours ago and it doesn't mean that he's gonna come back, but he very well could and there could be even bigger bucks behind him. So we're gonna stick it out tonight. I got both fingers crossed. I am excited. So we're gonna sit tight and see what happens now. God, it feels good to be here. But Jerry, I'm surprised you can't yeah. on my the ridge. Huh. Okay. He's on a dead run. Huh. Did you see anything, Mike? I just saw two right across the road. <laughs> They're standing right in them pine trees over there. Huh. That's nice. He's on a dead run after a doe, and I literally got in the blind like five minutes. Huh. I zipped this door shut, threw all my stuff in. And I heard rustling, so I grabbed my gun, sat on the front of the chair, and followed him. He's got it on both sides. I couldn't find blood in those leaves. Yeah. So I, but I knew that it, there was a mossy patch where I shot him, and I knew he went to the two red X's in the wood line. He went right into the swamp. So I walked down there, did circles, found blood as soon as the leaves met the swamp. And then walked in 20 yards and he was piled up. There it is. Oh, that's pretty wide. 15 and 3 quarters. Something like that. Yeah, it's a nice spot. Not a huge body. I'd say he's a two and a half, maybe a three and a half. Yeah, two and a half. So you can definitely tell you it's a hardwood buck. You got the crab claw going on. Remember crab claw? Yep. But if I was, you know what I do? Really I have. I have. That's been a lot of practice. It always seems a lot of times too. Like if a doe is being chased on, she's pissed at him. She runs him right in front of a hunter. Because yeah. I was sitting there. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that just seems there. like when you kill one and chase him, he's in front of you. Yeah. I was. I was like. I don't know what I do. I do my stuff inside. I got in the blind just standing. Probably a door. And I was holding the chair. I was, if I was, but if I'm telling you, if I was sitting, I'd have done my phone. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, the price slide. One, two, three. We didn't really butcher this uh, line too much. You could probably use it, reuse it. Now I got right in front of the bench with two people. We got the two. So we should check it out. I, I don't I don't have it uh, uh, mine's before. Bennett be pretty good. 
Watch him push it right back in. I've done that before. Are you great? Camille and all. But it's Riesling? Yeah, this is the uh, Camo face paint. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Oh, this is red. red. Oh, I love red wine. Awesome. Hey, Jerry's back in. Jerry in there. Lucky day. I'll take it. I sure you. Oh man, I'm really freaking. Oh. I really. That clink out. Nice. Oh. I could almost wear these as prescription glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need the. Uh, One to left. Ten and two Ten back in business. Back in ooh. Keep it Well, it is November nineteenth and it is seven thirty seven AM in the morning and it is daylight in the swamp. We heard a coyote way off in the distance barking. There's a full moon. We had one spike on camera. That's it. The wind is calm. So we're hoping the deer will move because it's a big change up from yesterday's really, really wind storm. So last set, last day. Let's see what happens. Hopefully they'll be on the move. We can get a big boy. This year's 2021 Hideaway Cup goes to the eight point killer, David Petrowski. Nice. Double winner. Two time check. <laughs> May I get the tree? On our way back. Me and Jerry didn't see nothing. David got the cup. And <laughs> well, DNR first. Probably. <laughs> you never know. Though. Got that face on it. Yeah. All right. Picking them up, eh? I think it goes four and a half. Is that four and a half? He's got a couple two. Yeah, yeah, four. Yeah, yeah, four. 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 Got him in uh, Antonagon County, uh, camp I bought three years ago. Uh, been hunting it 15 years, and this is the second biggest buck I ever shot. He's 200 pounds on the money, and uh, real happy. Hope he does good here. Oh, yeah, he will. Congrats. Thanks. Thank you. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end, and with David taking this year's cup, deer camp was officially over. All that's left was a trip home and a quick stop to Rapid River Knife Works where David would pick out a knife for winning our buck pull, a tradition that's been going on for over 18 years. While we were there, we were able to see what dreams are made of as a lucky UP hunter took the buck of a lifetime. Now it was time to get back on the road and see what the bridge count was as we all look forward to next year's deer camp.